Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we are looking at redox number four today, the front page of it, the homework that deals with electrochemical cells. And we're going to start off with some just straightforward basic questions. What is an electrochemical cell? Well, it's any device that is powered by a redox reaction. So it has to have both an oxidation and a reduction. And the change that happens at the anode is the oxidation. And the change that happens at the cathode is the reduction. Now you'll take note that anode and oxidation both begin with vowels. Cathode and reduction both begin with consonants. Okay. All right. What is the purpose of a salt bridge? It completes the circuit that's kind of a physics answer or it allows for the backflow of charge do not say that it allows for the backflow of electrons that is not accurate and actually that's the way I was taught but it's not true. Electrons are not flowing through it, just charge itself, okay? The unit of electric potential for calculating all of this is going to be the volt, okay? And the positive electrode in an electrochemical cell is the cathode, and the negative electrode is the anode. And if we follow the wiring standards for batteries that are on all of the cars that you deal with. The positive is always going to be a red wire. And the negative will always be the black wire. And typically, the positive and the negative are printed on the battery itself. Even in an automobile battery, you can see that. Okay, so a positive electrode, that's the red. Okay, negative electrode, that's the black. So, what's true of all the reactions whose EMF is a positive number? It's going to be spontaneous. That means it happens without outside influence. Okay, so let's draw up a nice reaction here where we see the... Uh, actual movement of all the particles, what grows, what gets smaller, what gets bigger, etc., etc. Okay, so we're going to start off with our two cells. They will have a solution in them and a piece of metal. Now if we're following here, zinc and silver. So that means this piece of metal is the zinc, this piece of metal is the silver. We could have reversed that, that's no big deal. A wire through some type of multimeter, a salt bridge that connects them this way. Very typically, we use something like potassium chloride, okay, or potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate might be better in this instance because the silver could precipitate with chloride. Now, this solution since it has a piece of zinc in it, needs to be a zinc 2 plus solution. And you can't have a positive ion without having a negative one. So we'll throw some nitrate. Same thing over here. It has to be Ag plus, which means there has to be some nitrate. Okay. Now, in this case, the zinc is the one that's oxidized. Zn goes to Zn2 plus plus two electrons. We'll show you in a minute why we know that, which means electrons are flowing this way. All right, this ends up reading 0 0.04 volts. That means that this electrode is going to get smaller over time and more zinc two plus ions will fall into solution, which means that will attract the negative ion here, the nitrate or the chloride assuming it's potassium nitrate, 
Over here, this one will get bigger because Ag plus plus an electron is forming Ag. Okay. Now, which side is the anode and which side is the cathode? This is oxidation, so it's the anode. This is reduction, so it's the cathode. The cathode is positive, the anode is negative. That makes sense. This is negative, it pushes the electrons away. This is positive, it attracts the electrons towards it. Okay, now, if we go to a table of EMF values, Ag plus plus an electron forms Ag and E naught equals, okay, in this case that would be 0 0.80 volts, and then zinc goes to zinc 2 plus, plus an electron, E naught is going to equal, I think that's 0 0.76 volts, I added that one up wrong. Okay, now I do need to multiply this by 2. Doesn't affect the value there. All right, the electrons cancel. And this is going to be 1.56 volts. So sorry, that reads 1.56 volts. It's a mistake on my part there. And the overall equation is 2 Ag plus plus Zn gives me Zn2 plus and 2 Ag. All right, and that is the front page of that one. Tune back in and we will look at more of the adding up of EMFs. This is Morgan. Thanks for tuning in.